Hi everybody, this is Debbie with the eBrush Design Team and today we're going to talk about using some of the Testor paints. This is the acrylic paint set and so they're they're non-toxic. I find that they're a little transparent so um, again you're going to want to work with them and see how they they do on whatever you're going to use them on but we're going to uh, use a couple of the colors to see or at least one of the colors to see what kind of cover which coverage we get but i want to remind you too that these are the water based or the acrylic based and so when i'm thinning them i would use an acrylic thinner and sometimes even Windex will work, but use an acrylic thinner, thinner with them because if you use water, it actually will break the bond. And so uh, this is pretty thin. It's pretty transparent, but it's supposed to work on wood, plastic, ceramic, metal, fabric, paint, glass, pottery, and more. And so we're going to try this in our e-brush. And I'm going to use the bottle. I thought about using a little cup, but I'm going to use uh, a bottle. And let's get into you want to really tap these good on your hand to really mix them up good and I found too that um, they're tight too there we go I don't have to really mix much and I'm going to show you as I pour it in Let me get right here. so it, it's pretty thin you can see that in there a little bit. I'm going to get some of my matte thinner. And you can use this on fabric which is really Now I'm going to use a little bit of my matte medium. Use whichever brand you like. You don't. It's up to you. And again, you're going to um, see what works best for you. So, just a little mix up there. And normally I get uh, the lids, but I don't have one with me. So, we're going to put this and we'll take our paints on the side. One of the things that I found that you may also be interested in, if you, you know, shooting it inside really can get a lot of stuff covered with overspray. And I like to mask most of my things that I'm working too. And in the automotive industry, sounds funny, but they have some really neat things. This is a cellophane or a, a plastic sheet that has the masking tape on it so that you can actually put it on stuff so that you can keep it from going over and messing up your other papers or pieces and you can actually put it on the edge. I, I ripped this one, but let's see. We can get started. Remember to you want to set it up so that your nozzle. Let's see if it will come on, thingy dooly. Runs a little bit higher. The tip runs a little bit higher than the nozzle. There we go. So, and it's crazy, but this is all, always the way I start off. Oh yeah, it's spraying out already. Spray it into a rag. And you'll see that I ran some color already into it. Ah. There we go. So. And if you feel like you're not getting enough, I'm going to tell you what's wrong. This is another tip. Have some beading wire around. See, this is beading wire. Or you can actually use a beading needle, something very thin, that will go down into your tip. And sometimes when you're working with acrylic and you're blowing the air on it, it will harden up on you. And I think it did from the last paint. Um, and this too, I scrub out my tips with this and it works really well. There we go, see? And sometimes you get paint that's got a 
little bit of you may have some paint that has a little bit of some hard parts in it and that too can be a drag so I'm going to do it one more time you have to have steady hands for this too uh, and good, good glasses <laughs> so I'm going to put it down in here again it doesn't really seem to be I think it's just me okay, there we go turn it on again You see, I'm getting this big overspray. That's why it really needs to be masked off. So I'm going to shut it down some. Look at the overspray when I go lower. There we go. But really good coverage. You want to use this outside. And you see, too, you don't want to go long. You want to go a nice strip like this and stop. And you want to go back and forth quickly. And you don't want to lay in one spot because you want to get wet. But I think we've got some really beautiful colors and some really nice coverage. I, I can't wait to take this outside and try it on some wood and some other things. So it does pass. Just remember, you want to be really careful because if you use and you stay in one spot long, you're going to get this, where this is pretty dry. So when you're using acrylics and not alcohol-based like your markers, you are going to stay wet. So you want to do a little bit at a time, several coats. Let it dry between each coat. And uh, this, this looks like it's going to be fun. So, yes, the tester paints will go through the siphon. Let me know what you're going to do with yours. Thank you for joining me. Talk to you later. Goodbye.